Okay, so here's a short tutorial on how I did this HDR with this truck. I did it with one raw photo. So what I'm doing here in Photoshop is I'm changing the exposures to create five different exposures. I start at negative two, then go negative one, then go zero, then go plus one, then go plus two. So that way I have five different exposures. Next, what I'll do is I'll open up Photomatics, which takes all five exposures and puts them into one photo. Then that way from here I can change on how strong I want it, so some people overdo it, some people underdo it, it's not that it's wrong or that it's right, it's all in personal preference what people prefer. Um, so right here I'm just doing a quick change in luminosity, uh, it changes from photo to photo so I don't have presets because every photo is different, so I don't have a certain set for doing those, but this is the one that I do. Color saturation, I don't like the color saturation on this one, raising it too much. Um, I'm trying to keep the old classic rusty uh, type look to it. Down here you can change the smoothing to mild to low, uh, keep it on high. You can even change the smoothing yourself, but I'm fine with this right now. I'm going to fast forward this for you, this usually takes about a minute or so. Next what I'll do is I'll open it up inside Photoshop, I mean Lightroom, sorry. And then once I do inside Lightroom, it's then I can change it a lot more. I can start by cropping it, um, which I usually try, if I'm doing the truck, I'm mainly going to focus on the truck. If I was trying to get all the buses, then I probably would have taken a wider view instead of having it so zoomed in that I've got more, so I wouldn't have cropped it. For this photo, I'm mainly focusing on the truck. Um, and then from there, I can change uh, the clarity a bit, which if you drop it down like that, you can see it has more of a soft tone. I want it more rugged because, like I said, I'm going for that rust metal feature. Uh, so then that way, I raise the clarity up. Here is the noise reduction. Uh, sometimes I use that when the picture seems too grainy, so then I'll add a little bit of noise reduction to make it a little bit smoother. Um, and then from there, I can change um, the blacks, the tent, the exposure. Um, that's my favorite thing about Lightroom, which is so easy to use. And then there, you can change the temperature to make it warm. If you want it looking really warm, or you can make it really cool, um, depending on your personal preference again. And here's the exposure. I can change it, I can drop it. I thought it was a little bit too bright going for that dark look, so I'm going to drop it down just a tad, not too much. Then I can change the brightness, I can change the contrast, all that right there. So that's the basics of Lightroom and what I do to it. There's sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I'll do less, depending on the photo and my personal preference at the time. Then from there, I can export it. And then there's the final photo. So go out, shoot your HDR, and have some fun with it. Edit however you want, make your own look.